First and foremost, on behalf of the entire news with Steam, I would like to take this opportunity to wish all our viewers a happy and prosperous Sinhalese and Tamil Nivia. A very good afternoon. We are coming to you live and direct from the news with studios here in Colombo this afternoon on Lunchtime News. I'm Zola Outskun. First, the headlines. With the dawn of the new year, let us dedicate ourselves for the future of the nation. A request from the president. 50% of power generation by 2020 will be through renewable sources. Statement by subject minister. The Sri Lanka baseball team eyes a place at the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. Starting off with our lead story this afternoon, the singular and Tamil Nivea dawned at 2.4 a.m. this morning. Now, people across the country celebrated the dawn of the Nivea by following the customary Nivea traditions. Meanwhile, President Matripala Sirisen also celebrated the dawn of the Nivea at his official residence in Colombo. The first custom of the Nivea was lighting of the hearth and cooking meals, which began at the auspicious time at 5.41 this morning. President Maitripala Sirisena as well as First Lady Jayanti Sirisena took part in the customs. The first transaction in the Nivea and the partaking of the first meal took place at 7.05 this morning. President Maitripala Sirisena extended his wishes to all Sri Lankans for the singular and Tamil Nivea. May this new year be one which is blessed and lucky to all of you. May you have the strength and courage to forge ahead and create a plentiful economy and a prosperous country. When fulfilling these responsibilities, let us keep in mind the country's future and let us work hard to make this new year a blessed one for the country. When building a nation, there are numerous challenges. However, we have to overcome all of them in order to make our motherland a shining example in this world. In this new year, let us strive to fulfill our private as well as collective responsibility to accomplish. I once again extend my blessings and wishes for a prosperous new year. <laughs> Now, Buddhist and Hindu devotees participated in various religious events as part of the New Year celebrations today. A special ceremony to mark the dawn of the New Year was held at the Temple of the Sacred Tooth Relic in Kandy under the auspices of the Diyavada Nilame Nilankadala today. Now, members of the Mahasangha also took part in these celebrations. Meanwhile, large crowds were also seen at the Jaya Sri Mahabodhi in Aradhapura in this New Year. Special religious ceremonies were also conducted at the Vairapulian Kulamakovil in Baunia to mark the dawn of the Nivea. Meanwhile, the Road Development Authority says that a special program has been launched to repair vehicles that face technical difficulties on the country's expressway within the shortest possible time. Director of Expressway Operations, Maintenance and Management Division, S. Openaika, said that the program is launched for the convenience of the public. On to more local news this afternoon, another edition of the Surya Balasangrame was held yesterday under the auspices of Minister Ranjit Simbalapitya. We have an ambitious aim of generating 50% of our energy needs through renewable energy sources by the year 2020. I think that it is very important for the country. At present, 40% of our import expenditure is on fossil fuels, such as coal and diesel. Half of those fuels are used for the generation of electricity. When it comes to hydroelectricity generation, we have now come to the peak. But we have a huge scope when it comes to solar energy. The aim of the Surya Balasangrame is to make every roof of every building building a solar power plant. We can plan to generate at least 500 megawatts through renewable energy sources by the year 2020. Uh, well, with that piece of entertainment, we wrap up this lunchtime edition. Thank you very much for stopping by. We'll see you again at 1.55 with our latest of the news update. I'm Joel Outskun. Have yourself a great day ahead.